You men, mount up and follow me. There's work to be done. I should have seen this coming. I should have known he would come for the weakest of us. You opened a bloody wound when you killed Rodri's brother. Anything worth doing must be paid for in blood. In Quartford, you told me Rodri gave you that scar on your face. Is it a story worth telling? If not worth telling, it is worth remembering. Years ago, I was headed back from the Western Isle. They have got fighters there. I had taken a bit of a beat, put me in a surly mood. I wanted blood and silver, nothing more. So me and my Drangir, sailing along the coast of Camry, see a nice spot for landing, covered in mist. We drag our ships ashore. And just then, a cry came from atop a hillock. The troll cursed Britons. The fog clears a bit. And there they are. All lined up. The biggest one calls out. I am Rodri, king of this land. That means shit to me. I scream back. I give my boys a nod. And we raise up our axes and charge before they take a breath. We have the numbers. But the Britons? Clever. It's marshland. The bog catches our boots, sucks us to a standstill. One by one. Rodri cuts us to bits. He gets to me, lays his blade at my cheek, and gives me this nick. Leave this land and give your people fair warning, he says. Tell them King Rodri gave you that cut. Hen shit, I say. Rodri laughs and lets me go. Quite a story, Ivor. Son of Ragnar, killer of kings. Conqueror of England and the Western Isle. You have lived a saga worth ten. That I have. That sweat-sopped slug is just beyond those walls. May only be defeated by a dragon. My itching ass. He'll meet one all right. Send a message to your men. We can build a camp here and lay plans for a surprise attack. No time. They're eager to pay out our revenge. I've been waiting to get back at these Britons ever since you broke me from that cage, Dane. The time is nigh. There's my liberator. I'll do you proud, I will. Eivor, I'm ready to get back at them Britons. You'll not see me lagging behind doing nothing but looting corpses. Not this time. I am ready. What in the name of Loki have you done? Called in the dragon to help me slay Rodri. Now what say you, Wolfkist? Are you ready for war? Rally the men, Ivar. Let's have at it. It is a good day to die. The gate looks to be well defended. My men are loading a cart with cauldrons of oil. We will blast right through that fucking gate.
Ready? Show yourself! I am here, Boneless Ragnarsson. How is it you come in force when our peace has been concluded? Do not mock us, whore son! You splattered blood on our peace with the butchery of young Chalbert! Speak what nonsense you please, Dane. If you mean war, our defenses are sure. Gaze upon my face, King of Crow Food, and meet the dragon that will devour you! I see a spent old man playing at serpents. Enough talking, Ivar. Bring the oil cart and set the fires! When I am done with Rotary, I will tear the fat from these shanks and use it to fry our bread. Get the cart, boys! We will light it up in front of the gate! Quickly! Get the wagon to the gate!
the boneless. <laughs> you make a pitiful dragon.
I need some fresh air. Yeah. I failed the rotting old oak. He's not dead. No. I have something else planned. Spectacle, remember? The man is dying. Come away. Let the Nordnir spin his fate. Oh, no. This will be good. I have something specific in mind. A place and a method. Come! All right. Let's get this over with. Load this lump of lard onto your horse and we will go. Take care he stays alive. Eivor! Do not forget that load of rotten flesh called Rotary. Out, fool! <laughs> hmm. I feel stronger already.
Where are we going? An overlook I found while scouting. A view. One fit for a dying king. There's no need for spectacle, Ivar. Let the man die with honor. No, no, no. He must die with style. Stay sharp. <laughs> How are you doing, dear king? Stay with us. You must not miss what is coming. I killed King Ella, King Osbard, King Edmund, and now King Rodri. Who else can claim such a string of victories? Just finish me. It is not my place to interfere in this feud. Valhalla must look such a sight. Does he breathe still? Barely. Rodri, are you listening? For years I wore this scar with shame. Nicked by a Briton and left alive. I tried to cover it with a beard, a cloak, but as your fame grew, I began to beam with pride. A king gave me this mark. What say you to this, Rodri? Huh? Speak up, you old bag of sweat and grease. Here we are. Bring him close. up there to the top and keep him breathing finish this quickly Ivar. see here a hungry blade now comes the dragon to feed on his favorite meal the blood eagle Ivar, is this... The birth of a blood eagle is a sight to behold, my friend. First, I slice the length of your spine. That is 
a Norseman. The true essence of old heroes. The Blood Eagle has no true meaning for Ivar. He is doing it simply to take pleasure in suffering. Now, I pull back the flesh. The method will always outlive the meaning. Few in time will care why this man died. But the how, that is a song for the ages. The fog between good and evil grows thick over time. But glory never fades. There is nothing glorious here. Life is not pretty. It is a bloody fight. Out come the lungs! Aye. And we spread them like wings! All of Mercia can see him now. I have seen enough. We are not finished, Eivor. This saga we have written together, it needs an ending. Here and now. It is ended, Eivor. I'm done with this place. A fight to the death. You and me. If I win, I am the greatest Vikinger who ever lived. If I lose, what a tale you have to tell. You are battle drunk, Eivor. Goodbye. Poor Chelbert. He barely said a word. When? I pushed that dragon dagger into his heart. No. Just a soft little squeal. Then, nothing. You sick, cursed fuck out! <laughs> the things a man must do. The trials one must face. The friends one must betray. To achieve one's destiny. And become king killer forevermore. Traitor! Jailbird was like a son to me! Yes! Yes! So fight me, Wolfkiss, to a glorious death! This is a life, Eivor! To fight high above the world! Valhalla awaits! A storm of mindless chaos! Mindless? could see me now, he would rage with disappointment. <laughs> When iron bit into flesh like teeth into bread! Bleed like jailbird! Bleed like 
like jailbird! a moment, Eivor. Let me ask you something. Speak then, or I take your tongue. Will you see your father in Valhalla, Wolfkist? Or is the coward in Helheim weeping tears of ice? Go again! Jailbird! Death is just a cold, windless sea. No banquet, no thorn, no fire, no revels. Jailbert! So close to death! So cold is my heart! Where are the winged maidens? Valkyrie's approach. My axe, Eivor. Hand me my weapon. Odin may have use for you, but this is more than you deserve. Ah. Do not shame him. I hear... I hear their wings.
Carry the body to Quadford. We'll say our goodbyes there. And send a message to Uber. Tell him his brother is dead.
Eivor, hello. Another dark day clouds our victory. Bishop. Uber. Dead at the hands of a Briton. I cannot imagine the shame my brother felt in his final hour. Were it not for this peace, I killed him. You? After peace was made, Eva murdered Chelbert and pimped the crime on Rotary to get another swing at him. How do you come to know this? He told me himself. I am always one who desires the truth, Eivor. But this... This is a hard thing to hear. Did he die well? He died a fighter, in all his glory. As he wanted then. With Ivar gone, peace and quiet are now possible. That is something. I will console myself for the thought that we will meet again in Valhalla. Axe in hand. You will. For good or ill, he lived life by his own rules. What man can say better? He lived his life at cross purposes. I often found him strange and his actions puzzling. But not all men are meant to be understood. He needs a proper farewell. I will prepare a ship for his funeral pyre. Bishop, send word to Lady Angharad. Say that her husband died by treachery. And that Ivar has paid the price for it. As soon as I am able. Have you heard from King Chaelwulf? I cannot imagine his grief. He is felled by it. Still, he makes plans for this shire. I am to be elderman here. Therefore, Shiropshire declares herself your friend and ally, and will remain so for the length of my days. I am grateful, Bishop. God go with you, Eivor, wherever you may lead. One sails into a singing glory on a flaming water steed. Wind across the water. The battle maidens beat their wings to carry a king to Odin's hall of corpses. Eva gone. 